Hey guys! That was the weirdest Did you out start? intro I've ever done. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Hi guys. Justin is here and he doesn't want to be on camera, although he's gonna he's gonna wave. I photobombed. Yeah, he photobombed. He um is, doesn't want to actually show his face, but he's here. So he is actually going downstairs really quickly. But I'm starting this part of it without him. This is my birthday presents haul. And I'm going to do openings now. And then I'm going to do like major descriptions and stuff later. So with that, we're going to get right on into it. So the first thing that I got for my birthday today is this. And you guys are like, what the heck is that? Well, my friends, this is the Spa Deluxe goodie bag set. And this was $4 on a sale page a while ago. So without further ado, we are gonna open it. Do, do, do. All right. So, in this set, we don't want this. We have a little face mask that I believe is a sticker, so you can actually stick this on your doll's face, and it's like for a spa thing. There are also little cucumber stickers that you can stick on your doll's eyes. Then it came with white spa slippers that are foam, and you actually used to get these um, from the American Girl Hospital or the salon when they did skin cleaning, I believe. And there is an elastic band here and they're white foam and they say American Girl on the bottom. They're not the best quality, but I mean, I wasn't really expecting anything super exciting. So there are the slippers. And this is what I really wanted it for. There is a white terry cloth gown with an embroidered little red American Girl star. And there is a like little thing here. And on the back, it is completely open. And there is a little teeny tiny square of Velcro. But it's otherwise open. And there is an American Girl tag. And then it's right on the other side, which is really interesting to me, but whatever. I wanted this for a hospital gown. So here it is. Ta-da! This is only $4. I was there when that was ordered. Okay. Um, now I'm going to open up this box. <gasps> What's this, you ask? Well, this is Leah's Mix and Match Swim Set. Yay! This retails for $34, and it contains a tankini top, a rash guard top, two tankini briefs, and one hair accessory. I'm really excited for this, you guys. This is really going to be awesome. And I have to save the rest of it for when Justin comes back, really. Because I'm waiting for him. So here is the first little swimsuit bottom, and it very much reminds me of Jess. Oh my god. So it has an elastic waist, and it is lime green, and it is made of swimsuit material, which actually feels really bizarre for some reason. I don't know. And it has lime green here, and it has a hot pink fuchsia waistband, and on the butt it says American Girl with like a, a sticker thing. And then here's the other one. It is the hot pink fuchsia color and it has like the really cute tribal print on the sides here. And it's just basic on the butt and it says American Girl in lime green. And then here is the rash guard top. It's so cute. It's again made of the swimsuit material. It's got the fuchsia pink sleeves. And it says American Girl in lime green. So it's kind of clear that this goes with this, but you're supposed to mix and match, which is really awesome. And on the back, it looks like this. And that girl goes all the way down, so it's easy to put on your doll and take off your doll. This would be really fun to play with at the beach and stuff. This is the piece I really wanted. <laughs> this is the fringe top. Ah! It's lime green, and there's the hot pink magenta thing. It's lined with it, and it looks like this in the back. It has, like, a razorback strap, and it opens like this. 
it says American Girl in the pink, so it's clear that it goes with this piece, but you can mix and match them. Like, I think it would be really cute to put them like this. Oh, I'm so excited. And the fringe is the same fabric as this and this, which is really cool. So they can be mixed and matched. And then there is this adorable headband that I was really excited for too. And it has this really cute tribal print and it's pink and it's white. And this little bow here. And it has elastic on the back. Justin needs to get his butt back up here. We are also going to open another give the box. And this, Leah's Beach Dress. Because, yes, I got the exclusive collection. I had to. So, I'm going to open it up. Oh, my God. It's so cute. So, it first is the dress. And it is purple tie-dye. And it has green ribbon sleeves here. And it's fruited on the front, and it's actually stretchy, but it's elastic. It has elastic waist, and is a really cute skirt. And there's a really cute embroidered flower here. So cute, I love it. And on the back, you open it like that. It's so super cute. I love it. So there's the little dress cover-up thing. Then, we have the green shoes that I really, really liked. They were really cute. So, they are lime green. They have nothing of interest on the bottom. It just says the American Girl thing on the bottom. And it has this really cute little loop here. It is like a uh, flip-flop. But it's a sandal. And they're plastic. And so, I mean, they're not the best quality. But these are really stinking cute. And I really like them. So, I'm glad I got them. You get two. And you get a really cute pair of sunglasses that'll look really, really good with the uh, mix and match swimsuit. Here is the sunglasses. They're lime green and they have like a very similar print here to the swimsuit. So they will match very perfectly. And you open them up and the sides are green and the sunglasses themselves are tinted like a dark blue these are so cute i love them it actually looks like there are oh these are like butterfly wings in the corners here that's really cute i love it i love it i love it uh stuff stuck to my hair <laughs> And the last piece is a butterfly clip. And as you guys know, I completely bashed on this back when I first saw it in January. I'm still a bit peeved by it, but I mean, it is really cute. It's the same exact butterfly clip as Lainey's Monarch Butterfly Clip from her butterfly dress, except this one is blue. And I mean, it's really cute. It's really well detailed. And you pull on the wings to activate the clip and the clip actually kind of looks like the butterfly's legs if you think about it so it's very cute but you know next up we have a small box and it's like its accessories yay <laughs> So it contains one headband, one camera, four photographs, one bracelet, one passport, and one book in English. And it retails for $32, which is insanity, but you know, you can also, we also read this for you guys. The beach dress contains one dress, one pair of sandals, one pair of sunglasses, and one hair clip. So that's that. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at all the little pieces. Oh my god, Leah's bracelet. Oh, it's so cute. So this is Leah's bracelet. Let's see. Wow, this is really cute. So it's a ton of like elastic bracelets and they all have really cute sayings on them. So the yellow one says nature in harmony over and over. I'm not even showing you guys Nature Harmony over and over. The orange one 
says courage and strength over and over. And the pink one says friendship and love over and over. It's so super cute. And all of them are tied into this adorable little multicolored tassel. And there is a little charm of a turtle. It's so cute. And I think this is metal. I believe this is metal, yeah. I love it. Oh, so here's Leah's passport because she does go to Brazil, I believe. It's so cute. It is green. It's like an apple green. Here's the back. It says American Girl in gold. And it says passport in gold on the front. And it has a really pretty little butterfly decal on it. Now on the inside... So cute! It says Clark Leon. It says her date of birth and her passport number and all kinds of information. And then we have some destination pages with some little decals on them. This is adorable. I love it. So cute. Then we have, oh my god, I love this. This is a book about sea turtles from National Geographic Kids. I love it. It's by Laura Marsh, apparently. There's a picture of a sea turtle on the front with some fish. So cute. Here's the back. And, um, wow, it actually has stuff on the spine of the book. That's incredible. And then, on the inside, we have stuff about actual sea turtles that you can actually read which is really incredible. I really love this book. I love sea turtles too. I've always wanted to see sea turtles actually hatch, so it's really cool to have this. Oh my goodness, we have the pictures now from Leah's camera that we'll see in a little bit. So let me open this up. Let's see, I think we have four pictures, yeah. So here are all four of our pictures. I need to find all Kanani's pictures because I know I have some of Kanani's too. They like this and actually they're incredible. These are beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this one is of the Marike cat that she, I think that's how you pronounce it, that she has in her collection. It's such a beautiful shot. Oh my goodness. And then she has one of a sea turtle in the ocean. So beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these shots. They're beautiful. Then we have one of a toucan. I think Justin's coming back. This is good news. And then we have one of a swan. It's so cute. Uh, that might actually be my mother. Well, that's not who we want. We want Justin. Leah's camera that took those beautiful pictures. Oh my god, I love this stuff so much. I'm so happy to finally be opening these. So here's Leah's camera. Holy moly, the detail on this is kind of incredible. Just a little bit. Holy moly. Okay. So the strap can come off, which is really cool. It can ultimately just be like this. There are two little clear things, obviously, that you guys know by now that your doll can use to hold it and take pictures and stuff like that. And it has a cool lens that is like bronze, like antique gold. It has a really cute little flash and the little eye that you can look through. And it's also on the back side. And then I don't know what this is. I really don't. I wish I did. I, I just don't. I don't know why there's a hole there, but whatever. I mean, it's there for a reason. Maybe it's for a charger or a USB. I don't know. Um, It's such a cute camera. It's a turquoise blue and it's textured. It's super cute. And then there's a little screen and there's some arrows and like a little button here. And there are some buttons on the top along with the dial here to do some adjustments so you can take some pictures. And the strap is like yellow, no it's pink with, wow, it's pink with yellow tribal designs on it again. And then if you flip it over, it's just yellow with a pink edge. 
and it has stitched holes on either end of it so that the strap can go over these little nubs here and can help Leah hold the camera up and she can put it around her neck. It's so very cute. I really like this piece. It's really nice. And then last but certainly not least is the headband. And of course there's an American Girl tag on it, which is obnoxious in every way. But we have this and it has a pink rope piece with little coils in it. And then we have a braid of Leah's hair with pink, yellow, and orange little tiny rope strands braided into it. And it's really pretty. But I really do wish that it was just like plain hair and it didn't have this like stuff attached to it. It would be used more that way. But it is really cute. So that is everything from Leah's accessories. And then, of course, I got Leah's book. So we have Leah Leads the Way, which is her second book. And we have Leah and Camilla, which is her third book. And I'm so super excited to read these books so that I can ultimately, um, what's it called? I can ultimately watch the movie, which I have recorded. So I have it on my DVR waiting to be watched. And this is a continuation of the books. I wanted to read the books first. So ta-da! There's that. And of course, this is what you all have been waiting for. Leah herself. And I have been waiting so, so patiently to open this beautiful girl. And, um... I literally, when I was told I could just open her, I literally just like picked up the box and I just hugged it because I was so happy to finally be able to open her and oh my god, my life is about to be made here, um, being able to open Leah, so I'm so super excited about this, um, but in the meantime, since Justin is not here yet, I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. All right, I got Justin back. He was mm -hmm. eating lunch. So. Yeah, I was. Yeah. It was good, too. It was good lunch? Okay. He's eating dessert. I'm ready. We're going to open Miss Leah. I'm so excited. And I have a really good story to tell about that, too, actually. So, oh, okay. Here we go. We got this. So we have Leah's first book, Leah Dives In. So that completes the trio. Let's get this out. Book. I'm covering the one. No, I'm not. Number one. So now we have all three books. That's good. All right. We have the little accessories, which I'm really baffled that they actually included these. I'm really impressed with AG on that part. This is so cute. This is so cute. I'm so glad I can finally use it now. So it is army green, and it has pretty straps on it. And these are lime green? Yeah, lime green buckles. This is the same as her camera. Yes, it is, except the pink's darker. That's really interesting, you guys. Did you ever notice that? They're the same. It's really interesting. Cool. Yeah. Same exact little usual clip here. I really like the embroidered details. Justin saw this ages ago. He's not interested in this. <laughs> but there's Velcro, and it opens up, and you can put stuff in there. As I know, you guys already know, too. No one cares about that, but I do. So we're doing it. Then we have her compass, which I don't know if Leah's going to use a lot. Although if she doesn't use it, I could see her getting lost. So maybe she would want to use it. I don't know. But here's her compass. It's on a black string, and I have a compass like this, except it's on a yellow string. Um, I'm going to have to, like, compare the two later. Oh, the compass actually moves. All right, so we have an actual moving compass. Look, why is it not moving when I'm saying, like, moving compass? Okay, well, it doesn't want to work for you guys, but it does move, I promise. I saw it move. And it has a bronze back. Somebody needs to tell me if that actually works. I think it does work. 
Well, for, well, does actually it actually turns, even I though mean, direction wise, it won't cooperate. Yeah, you guys should tell us if it actually works. Justin's phone no, was ringing. <laughs> it's okay. We're doing important things. North, out, north, south, east, and west in white script. It's really cute. And this little is that pink? Fuchsia? A little flower in the middle. And then the the arrow is really cute too. Little black arrow. And then we all know that these knots can be used to enlarge or shrink the chain. But now we want the interesting part. Mylia got her ears pierced, so we have her earrings. Which is awesome, because earrings are bomb. Let's see the earrings. It says Leah Clark. You can see my lips. Hello. And wow. So we have these studs. These studs. And these dangles. The dangles remind me so much of Jess, which is really, really ironic. But Leah reminds me of Jess as a whole, honestly. These are the ones that Leah actually has in her ears. So I actually have two pairs of these. And then we have the little butterflies. They're so cute. I love them so much. They're green and they have gold in the middle and then around it. Then these are a little pink flower. I think that's green. Green ring around it and then has a gold ring around it because it's gold. The dangles have gold studs. I think these are just elastic cord. Sorry, Justin's phone's going off. And there are orange beads. You can see my eye. Hi. <laughs> gold, no, orange, and then like the same fuchsia hot pink color that we've been seeing in her collection a lot. And now, this. Moment of truth, you guys. This is this is it. This is it. This is the rubber band just came off Leah's foot. I mean, it, it's just like, oh hi. Uh oh, hairnet's caught. It's not an opening video without hairnet getting caught here. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. I feel so so happy. Okay, let's take this off. Get off your arm. This cracks me up. Straight hair. Does that look straight to you? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, her shoes are so cute. Moment of truth, you guys. Here. That's I'm choking. Yep, that's Justin's choking <laughs> and dying in front of my face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Justin's not gonna die. You better not die on my birthday. Never. Justin can't die. <gasps> Uh-oh. We have hair stuck to the hairnet, you guys. Or the hairnet stuck to the hair. I don't know which one it is. I think it's some of both. Okay, there we go. The hairnet is off. What? Okay. The hairnet's causing problems. Oh, my God. Her hair is a catastrophic mess. But, oh... My God, hello, my beautiful girl. I love her so much. I just want to hold her and Aww. rock her and give her kisses. And Mia's giving me like the worst look ever. She's literally looking right at me, Justin. She is. <laughs> she's, she's giving me the death glare. She's like, mm. oh my goodness, you guys. She's so I have to fix her hair, but I'm so in love. I'm so in love. She's so pretty. I picked the perfect Leah. And I did say I had story time to tell you guys regarding Leah. Here's her earrings. So here's the story time. The story time is that when I picked out my Leah, first of all, I had two associates helping me. Not one, but two. And we were scouring the entire store. King of Prussia store for the perfect Leah and well two Leahs I'll drop that bomb now two Leahs but are you looking right ahead yes you are okay but the thing is I knew I wanted one of those pierced aka Leah but they knew that I was like so like picky with my Leahs 
And I was so hellbent on finding the perfect one that they literally allowed me to pick where her earrings were going to go so that I was perfectly satisfied with where they were placed. So they literally gave me the little tool and I got to pick where her earrings were placed in her ears when they pierced them. So essentially, I helped pierce Leah's ears. And that is an experience I am never going to... I'm never going to forget. I am never going to be able to replace. And for that, I'm extremely thankful. And I think I did a pretty good job. So, welcome Miss Leah Clark to the family, you guys. I know I gave her a middle name. I just have to find it. Let's see. Leah, 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 Leah. Leah. Maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, I didn't give Leah a middle name. I thought I did. I'm going to have to give her a middle name, you guys. I never did. I'm so bad. I thought I actually did, and I never did. So I'll have to, like, put it down here and tell you guys what I ultimately picked for her middle name. Because I don't know yet. I'm going to have to find her one, but she's so pretty. I love her so much, and I'm so glad to finally have her in my collection. My mom is screaming for my brother. But we're going to look at her outfit really quick. And then, I don't know why she's yelling. And then, we are gonna say goodbye for now. We're gonna go with her shoes first. So here are her shoes. They are blue, and they have really pretty, I think these are yellow? They're yellow and green, actually. Little checkered print things on them. And they have little, uh yellow and pink spiral ropes, tying them together. They're so cute, I swear to God, you guys, I love these. The feet, the soles, more accurately, are tethered, tethered, treaded, wow, vocabulary. And they are tan. And the back, there is Velcro, which is really, incredible honestly so the shoes then Leah's dress move your really messy hair it's giving me a heartache really really pretty tribal print you got lime green yellow darker green like a forest green a I think that's teal that's another teal pink purple all kinds of really pretty and loud colors all across the entire thing. And we've got these pretty braided yellow rope belts across the waist. And the same pretty yellow ropes on her straps of the dress. The only bummer in regards to the dress is that the waist, the waist braids do not go around the back. And that's kind of sad. But other than that, it's a cute dress and I like it. Now, Leah, I am apologizing now. Her undies are green. Lime green that we've been seeing throughout her entire, let's see, collection. This is an example. And she has plastic in the corners of her legs to protect her body. So that's nice. I'm going to have to get that off in a minute. We'll pull that down so that you're not tormented anymore. Yeah, I'm so happy. You guys have been waiting for months for her. I love her so much. She's so pretty. Yay. I'm so happy. She's so pretty. I can't. So, thank you guys for watching this opening video. I am going to do more detailed stuff on this later. Because in the meantime, I'm going to play with Leah. <laughs> I didn't pick a middle name for her. Um, so I'm going to put that towards the end, not saying goodbye. But um, for now, love you guys. Love you guys. Okay, so here we have Leah modeling her exclusive beach dress. And it looks so cute on her. I love the purple. And she is holding her camera from her accessories and has her little bracelet from her accessories on. It looks really cute on. I really like it. She has her headband on from her accessories as well. And she is holding her purse that came with her, actually. So, she's got a mix 
the things going on here and she has the shoes on. I love it so much, you guys. It's so stinking cute. So yeah. Okay, so next up we have Kanani who was wearing one of the two in one beach swimsuits and she has on the rash guard top and the lime green bottom and I think she looks super awesome. She has on the butterfly clip from the beach dress and she's also wearing the sunglasses that came with the beach dress and they look really good with the swimsuit. She is so cute. I love her. She has her own bracelet on by the way. Her little kukuki bracelet. However you say it. Probably said it wrong. And she's barefoot. I love it so Next up, I have Miss Sonali wearing the other half of the two-in-one bathing suit. And she has on the bikini top with the fringe and the pink bottoms with the little ruching and design here. And she looks really cute. And she also has a little headband in and it's so adorable. I love this so much. And she actually looks really good in the bright colors. I'm super freaking obsessed. And then last but certainly not least, I have Emily wearing the... Um, the little spa outfit that I got, and she looks really cute in it. This is what it looks like on a doll. It's also really good for a hospital gown. Wink, wink. And here are what the sandals look like. They're a nice touch, but I probably won't use them. If at all. Like, it's going to be rare. And the back is completely open, so you can see her bloomers and her neck string. But... It's really nice. Like, it's very realistic for the, the hospital idea. And I really am excited to be able to get to use this. All right, you guys. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again next time. Bye.